Imagine you have 39,000 hectares of farmland, a herd of 3.4 thousand dairy cows, poultry farms and on the top of that three biogas plants. Impressive, right? This is exactly the scale of operations for Europe's largest organic food producer, the Auga Group from Lithuania. And when you have that kind of capital, you can't afford serious investments, like for example building your own high-performance hybrid tractor. And just like that, Lithuania, a country with basically no traditions of tractor manufacturing, got its very own proper tractor brand. In February 2023, the CEO of Auga Group, Kestiutis Jurtius, officially presented the production version of their flagship project, the first Lithuanian tractor. The Auga M1, because that's the name of the machine, is much more than just a regular tractor. There is a really interesting idea behind it. According to the creators, it's supposed to lower pollution, but even more importantly, it's meant to significantly cut the cost of fieldwork. Sounds too good to be true? Yeah, I thought so too. I dug into this topic a bit and there are a few things that worry me about whether this project will ever actually reach a mass production. My name is Mateo, welcome to my channel. I am a farmer and tractor enthusiast from Poland. If you like my videos, please be sure to leave a thumb up and subscribe to my channel to be sure you won't miss any of my new episodes. And now, let's dive into the video. We first heard about the Lithuanian tractor project a few years ago. Back in mid-2021, the first photos and videos of a prototype appeared in the media after passing field tests. It all started because Auga Group, as an organic food producer, wanted their farming to be as eco-friendly as possible. A few years ago, they calculated that 30% of their total carbon dioxide emissions came from tractors and machines working in their fields. Globally, the agricultural sector generates over 20% of total emissions, so that's a lot. We know that reducing pollution to zero is impossible right now, but trying to reduce it makes a lot of sense. And that is how Auga Group decided to build their own tractor powered by biomethane produced right on their farms. And of course this isn't a brand new idea. For example, New Holland already offers such a tractor and gas-powered engines aren't new either, but Aga Group decided to take it to the next level and solve a few problems that usually affect these machines. These are huge costs of course, but corporations like Aga Group can't afford it. Like I said earlier, they are a true agricultural giant managing 39,000 hectares. According to their website, developing and building the first batch of prototypes cost them 3 million euros. That is a huge amount of money. This green tractor you see is the prototype model shown back in 2021. In early 2023, Auga Group presented a new version. This one looks really interesting and according to the creators, this is the final form in which is going to enter mass production. The manufacturing is handled by a Lithuanian company called Rokishkish Machine Factory. You probably don't know this company, I heard about them for the first time too. Generally, they make farm machinery like tillage tools, mowers and they even make railings and sports equipment. Or at least that's what they say on their website. It's a bit surprising for me that a company without much of experience in tractor production took on such an ambitious project. Other global manufacturers were interested in participation in the project, but the owners wanted it to be made in Lithuania as much as possible. So the Auga M1 is a hybrid tractor. This basically means it's powered by a standard combustion engine that runs off biomethane. This energy is converted by a generator into electricity, which powers electric motors on the wheels and other components. The engine under the hood is a Ford diesel unit, but no specific technical details were released. Using electric motors is a very important part of this design. During light work, when the tractor doesn't need much power, energy is stored in batteries. 
when more power is needed, it's available instantly. This also eliminates one of the most complex and breakable parts of the tractors, the gearbox. Thanks to electric motors, power is delivered on the wheel smoothly and steplessly. In total, the AUGA M1 generates power comparable to a conventional 400 horsepower tractor. That is quite a lot, but I said comparable because the manufacturer don't inform exactly how much horsepower it has. The Maitan tanks are located at the back. This is a very interesting solution because these tanks act as a replaceable cartridges. When you run out of fuel, you just open the flap, take out the cartridge, put in a full one and the empty one goes back to be refilled. It's a very clever solution. It lets you use the tractor even if there are no Maitan filing stations nearby. And uh, let's be honest, there aren't many of them yet. The only downside I see is that changing the cartridge seems to require reattaching the machine attached to the tractor, but let's say that's not a huge problem. According to the manufacturer, a full set of tanks allows for over 12 hours of work, so the runtime is pretty good. The cabin comes from class, which makes the AGA M1 looks a bit like class Xerion series. However, apart from the cabin and the equal size wheels, these machines have nothing in common. At the moment, the first three units of these black tractors have been built and will go straight to AUGA Group's farms in Lithuania. We don't know the price yet, however the head of AGA Group assured that they aim to make them cheaper to run overall than classic diesel tractors. What worries me is the lack of information and technical specs. For a tractor supposed to go into mass production, it's a bit strange that they avoid giving technical details on their website. That's a key factor for buyers, plus the factory responsible for production hasn't dealt much with tractors before. Well, some time has passed and unfortunately my fears turn out to be true. In November 2024, AGA Group officially announced they are pausing work on the M1 tractor. It turned out that Reality verified this ambitious project. The company admitted they spent a total of 6 million euros on this. Unfortunately, rising production, cost inflation and the difficult tractor market situation made the project a burden. Reports show clearly, without an outside investor, AUGA has no money to finish certification and start production. Moreover, the company has to restructure and it's even partially moving away from organic farming to conventional farming to save its finances. So the Lithuanian Tesla of agriculture was close, but ultimately the production won't happen. I was rooting for them. The market needs a competition, but as you can see, the road from prototype to mass production is much longer and more expensive than the Lithuanians assumed. And that's all for today's episode. I hope you like my video. If you did, remember to leave a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on TikTok, Instagram and Facebook and join our group Mateo Machinery on Facebook. All links are in the description as usual. And now thank you for watching and see you next time.